Moving to the next chapter, and in this chapter, we are going to take a look onto the git diff command. So basically, the git diff command is used to find the difference between your current commit and your previous commit. And also, this command can be used to find the difference between your historical git commit history. Let's take a look onto the git diff commands which we are going to perform into this particular demo. So first we are going to begin with the normal git diff command which is going to be used to show the difference between your unstaged changes with your original git branch. Second we are going to see how we can use the git staged flag to show the difference between your staged changes with your main working branch. After that, we are going to see the flag W, which is used for identifying the white space if there is any white space in your git commit which you are trying to perform. After that, we are going to see the git diff command which can be used for the historical git commit history where you can keep the hashes, two hashes at least inside your git diff command to show the difference between the two commit which you have done in the past. After that, we are also going to see about the no index flag where we can compare two different flight, uh, two different files altogether. Don't worry, it's uh, very simple. When I'm going to show you, then it will look very easy once you understand the git diff command. And after that, if there is any word difference between the two files, then also git diff can identify uh, those particular file and what are the differences in the words or the character in those two files. And finally, the git diff stat command, which uh, just tells you the general status uh, of your current GitHub repository and what is the difference when you're making the local changes in your GitHub repository. So uh, there's a quite a lot to cover. So let's jump to the terminal and start running some git diff commands. Here is my uh, terminal where we will be running the git diff command, but on the back side, you will see this is my Visual Studio code where I have opened my GitHub repository, which contains feature one, feature two, and feature uh, text file, which we will be using to perform this particular demo and to understand the git diff command. Let's start with our first command, which is our normal git diff command. So how to use the git diff command. But before that, let's understand uh, what's the concept behind the git diff command. So here I have already told you we will be working on the feature one, feature two, feature uh, and normal feature text file inside my GitHub repository. So to run a normal git diff command, what you need to do, you just need to make sure that your changes are unstaged. What do you mean by unstaged changes? Which means that you have not run the git add command on any of your file. So, so that you can run the git diff command and which will try to show you the difference between the unstaged changes of your local repository with the changes which you have already pushed into your main repository. Okay, no worries. I'll, I'll show you. So here, what you need to do, you just need to go on to the terminal and I'll clear the screen. So first of all, let's try to run the normal git status command. So here I'm going to run the git status command. And here you can see there is no difference. What do you mean by no difference? Because there is no local changes which I have made so far. So my local uh, Git repository is exactly in sync with my uh, remote repository, which I have already pushed the changes. Since my local repository and remote repository is in sync, so we need to make some changes so that we can run the git diff command. So I'll go back to my Visual Studio code over here. And here let's open the feature2.txt file and let's make some changes. So I'll make the change like this is my first change in uh, feature2.txt. Okay, so this is the change which I have did. So now let's get back to our terminal and now again rerun the command. So git status. And here you can see that it is showing me that this file has been modified. But if you see this color of this particular file is red, which means I have not staged that particular changes. I have not run the git add command to let git know that, yeah, this is the new change which I'm trying to push. So this particular git diff command, which I'm showing you over here will work only if you have not done the staging of your changes. So right now we have not done the staging of those particular changes. So we can run the git diff command. So staging means I have not run the git add command onto this particular file. All right. So let's go back to our terminal and uh, I'll clear the screen over here. And now I'm going to run the command git diff. 
and hit enter. So here you can see as soon as you run the git diff command, then it is going to show you the differences between your current uh, repository, the current change which is present onto your local repository with the remote repository. So the changes are quite simple. So here you can see uh, that these are the files or this is the file which has been identified as a change. These are the hash which has been generated as a difference. And here you will see that uh, how many lines has been changed. So here the green lines which you see over here has been modified. Okay, so this is our initial line which we know if you take a look onto our Visual Studio code uh, then here. So this line is still the same. There is no change to it. But this line we have added. So once we have added this line, what it has done is like it has uh, removed these two lines and then re-added these two lines along with this particular line. Okay. I'm repeating one more time. So this is the initial line which has no change. But when I added this third lines and what it did, it just removed these two lines and re-added those two lines. So if you see onto our terminal, then here you can see these two uh, changes has been shown as a green. So that's the difference between your local uh, GitHub repository to your remote working repository. So this is how you can identify uh, the changes which you have not staged yet, but you can still run the git diff command to find the differences between your local repository with your remote repository. Okay, so now you have seen the normal git diff command. Let's take a look onto the next command, which is a git diff staged command. So previously I have shown like I have not added that uh, particular uh, file, which is a feature to file, which you can see over here into the stage. So now I will add and then I'll show you the git diff command. Okay, with the staged flag. So here, uh, this is the flag which we need to use, but I'll show you the difference between if I don't use the stage flag and I uh, like run the git add command to add that particular file into the staged uh, state. Okay, so let's get back to our terminal over here. And then now what I will do, I'll just clear the screen and let's run the command git status. So here you can see the feature 2.txt, okay? And if I run the git diff command without staged flag, let me show you the first that one. So it will show the difference. Yeah, it is showing me the difference, which you can see, which is quite clearly evident. Now what I'll do, I'll clear the screen and now I'm going to do git add and then I will just add feature 2.txt and hit enter, okay? Now the file has been staged, okay? So if I take a look over here, then this particular file has been staged using this git add command okay now if i run the git diff command without using this staged flag then i'll not see any difference okay so let's get back and now run the command git diff see there is no difference uh, there is no difference which is visible using the git diff command so that's where your staged flag comes into picture so now i'm going to run the same command using the staged flag so here i'm going to run git diff staged and here you can see the differences. So that's the basic difference between git diff and when you use the git diff command with the staged flag. Moving further, let's take a look onto the new flag, which is a W flag, which stands for the ignoring the white spaces, which you are committing inside your git changes. So for example, I'm going to take the same file, I'm going to create some white space, and then I'm going to use this uh, W flag along with our git diff command to show you that it ignores those white space changes. And it doesn't show if you have created some white space inside your changes. So let's get back to our terminal over here. So here, uh, first of all, let's take a look. Okay, before that, I will show you my Visual Studio code, okay? So here you can see that uh, the initial change was like this. So here you can see there was no white spaces over here, but now I am creating some white space over here and I'm going to save this particular file. So if I go and try to run the command git diff, without a W flag, without a white space, then it is going to show me the difference. So let's do that. And I'll just use the command git stage because I have uh, staged that particular chain. So here you can see, uh, this is the difference it is showing over here. This is a one more change and this is the white space it is showing me over here because I have created that white space over here. All right. Now, suppose you want to ignore those white spaces changes and you just want to see okay just don't show me the difference if there is any white space so how you can do that so for that i'll clear the screen and then i'm going to run the command git diff along with the w flag and then the staged and then hit enter and here you can see 
there are no differences at all uh, which is uh, visible over here so this is the command which can be used to identify or just to ignore uh, those uh, white spaces from your uh, git command or whatever changes you are push trying to push into your git repository moving further let's take a look onto the new flag in the git diff command which is a no index flag so this is the command which is useful when you want to compare completely two different files so for example the feature one and the feature uh, 2.txt file and these two files are completely different and their content can be completely different and this particular file uh, this particular command can be useful to compare like a similar file also and it can be used to compare two complete different file as well so it totally depends upon your requirement like what you want to compare but anyway let's take a look onto these two uh, this particular command how we can use it so before that i would like to show you my uh, code or the github repository where i have uh, created these files so here you can see the feature 1.txt here this is the content some random stuff in feature 1.txt and let's open the feature 2 and here you can see these are the changes which is present over here and if you compare both the content of these two files are completely different those are not in similar those are not way anywhere matching to these two files okay so now let's get back to our terminal and uh, i'm gonna run the command git diff with no index okay so here i'm gonna let me see if i have run it so here i'm gonna run the command with the git diff and here i'm gonna first of all specify the flag which is no index and after that you need to specify the two files which is like a feature uh, 2.txt and then i can use the feature 1.txt and then hit enter and here you can see it is showing the differences so here you can see yeah this is the new change which you are trying to push and uh, here these are the differences which is visible over here so although here i can see that the changes are quite small in my file but in reality when you are working with this particular command then your code might contain a large number of uh, uh, lines of code and that's where it will show a quite a lot of large output but the idea is quite simple if there are two completely different files, then this is the flag which you need to use along with the git diff command to identify the differences let's take a look onto our initial slide and see what is the command which is uh, we have not performed the demo so here you can see there is a one command which is git hash and hash2 which we also need to see so let's take a look onto this particular uh, command so what i'll do i'll just get back to my terminal and here to uh, like explain why do we need to use the different hashes so for example you are working on your github repository for a long time and you have multiple commits which you have performed in the past so for example like uh, i can show you git log one line so here you can see there are multiple commits which we have done in this particular github repository and now you need you thought okay let me try to find the difference somewhere here in these two commits because that's where I think some bug was introduced. So you can use the git diff command with the hashes that will give you the exact difference between those two commits what has changed. So how to run the git diff command with the hashes. So I'm going to run the command git diff followed by the hashes. So here I'll copy this particular hash paste it over here and space and then I'll use a new hash and then paste it over here and then hit enter. And here you can see it is just showing me the difference. Uh, between these two hash commit and these are the uh, like a, a code changes which I have done into these particular file in the past. So this is a quite useful command when you are trying to debug some of the changes which you have done and if there are some bug which has been introduced into your code. Let's take a look on to the next command, which is a word diff command, which is used to identify the differences in the like a character which you have uh, written inside your code file or the file where you're working basically. So it can really highlight you the changes which you have done character by character or word by word. So let me show you how we can use this particular command. Okay. So I'll go back to my Visual Studio code and let's open, for example, this particular file. This is a new feature. Okay. So here I will try to add a, a feature, let's say, for example, two over here. So I just added these two character inside this particular file. So how we can identify like what character change which you have done in that particular file. So with the help of this particular command, which we can uh, identify these changes. So let's get back to our terminal and I'll clear the screen and then run the command git 
diff with the flag word diff and hit enter and here you can see that it is clearly identifying so if i show you that here this was our original keyword or original word and then later on we have modified and added this particular thing which is like a, a two so it is clearly identifying that okay these are the differences which you have created with your change so this git diff word diff command is really useful when you need to trace the character by character or word by word differences in your files and the last command which i would like to show you in the git diff is the state command which is quite handy it will just give you the overall status of your github repository where the differences lies and it is just a general overview on the different status between your remote repository and the local changes which you are doing so let me show you how that uh, how you can run this particular command so i'll clear the screen and the command is quite simple so git uh, diff and followed by the state sorry i just made a typo over here let me check the command so it's a simple state command so i'll just get back clear the screen and the command is simple so here you can see uh, it will just give you an overall summary of what are the changes which you're trying trying to do so here you can see yes i have modified the feature one i have modified the feature two so yes two file has been changed and those we are trying to push it inside our github repository so that's a normal uh, command which you can run any point of a time when you want to see the overall status of your git dev in your current working repository